Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry. Yada yada yada. We have a gameplay from Raw. We have a character running around a level. Everybody, we can finally see what we've all been waiting for. Is this game a scam? Let's let's just take a look. What's this Michael Jackson smooth ass criminal lean we got going on with the turning? I'll show you. And then you'll notice that when we, as long as it's got the tag of main camera, we can control the new third person controller and you can adjust all. Would you believe that it's an asset? Cause I totally would. <laughs> now this environment, it actually looks pretty good. I'm kind of impressed. I was, I was okay. This looks pretty nice. Would you believe it's an asset? Because I would. <laughs> yep. It's another Unity asset. That cut to first person, I actually think it looks, it looks pretty good. The game, look, running around, uh, yeah, it's a bunch of assets. It looks pretty good. We're going to get into that in a little bit. But notice how he just walks by the forklift and, and doesn't interact with anything. This is the exact opposite of what we saw with Identity. Identity showed everything. You could interact with a fucking fan sitting on a counter, and they were super proud of it, but this one, you'll find that throughout the entire video of this character running around this level, they don't interact with a single thing. Now, we know that in the video you saw the, the forklift driving around the, the warehouse, but we don't actually see the character transition from running around to jumping into a forklift. They were actually arrogant enough to like look directly at it and then look away as if like, a, oh, remember this thing? Yeah, fuck you, you're not seeing this today. Now the character walking and running animations are definitely gross, but like not not game breaking, not nothing. Um, but again, this is just talking about what we're seeing on screen. I think the animations need a lot of work, but that's okay. The game is in an alpha state, so I'm not really nitpicky about this. Again, I want to point out no interactions with the PC. This is basically like a visual journey through a warehouse. There's there's no gameplay here. This is this is just the character walking around and looking at stuff. This is nothing. There is nothing here. Okay, so the animations, like I said, I'm not going to nitpick. If I wanted to nitpick, I would say, like, why would you even put the camera at this height during a crouch? It just looks awkward. Even Like, the, the whole camera placement just looks really strange. They could have made a way better gameplay reveal if they would have just brought it in a little bit, maybe on the crouch, take it a little bit higher. The camera placement is very awkward in this video. <laughs> Yet again, all of the, the opportunity to interact, sit down on one of these random fucking chairs, nothing. Just running and jumping, which, which begs the question, why was this even made? Why not open one of those garage doors or or interact with something on the like there's nothing I, j I can't believe people are falling for this bullshit see that car tucked into the container how much you want to bet you can't go and open that container or interact with the car or anything because it's a placed asset there's nothing there's nothing in this game it's not even a game <laughs> Go
great fucking demonstration, my dudes. I understand when you guys said that you didn't want to put the gameplay out because people will just say it's a bunch of placed assets. Yeah, we're saying that for sure. Assets is one thing, but the fact is, is you haven't shown us anything. I have developers in my Discord that could have put that together in probably five hours. There is nothing there. If they had all of those assets already sourced and ready to go with a clean project, they could probably put that together in two hours. So what is it that we have? We have a dev team of two people who are trying to pull off one of the most amazing games of all time, something that's never been done before by thousand-man, multi-billion dollar budgets at Rockstar, Bethesda, EA. We have two people trying to do it using sourced assets and what else we haven't seen any interaction we've seen different vehicle controllers character controllers but we haven't seen anything put together in in any semblance of a game they've been developing it for two years what are we seeing here in terms of a gameplay we're seeing nothing but in terms of some of these comments and some of the people that are just chugging the kool-aid at killer whale games I'm blown away. Let's go through some of the comments under this video. At the time of recording this, this video has about 24, 2500 views. I, I can't, I can't honestly believe it. I'm gonna scroll down here. Uh, Sai Sin, <laughs> a bit wonky to be honest. You don't say, Sin. Um, Archer, shut up and take my money. Looks dope. Uh, well, we have a warehouse and character models with movement, so not a scam. It is a scam. There's nothing here. I just want, I, I'm going to keep saying that throughout the video so that people understand what the fuck we're looking at. Froddy says, I think the third person camera should be a little higher. I actually agree. Looks great otherwise. Animations look unreal. They look unreal, like in a bad way, most likely, because the animations are shit. But like I said, I'm not going to nitpick yet. Great job. Let's get into the final game. To take this from where they're at now to the final game, it would take you like 10 fucking years at this rate. I love this Kool-Aid drinker. So Camille Yang comes out and says, looks good, but no interaction. Shouldn't complain because this is an ad. I don't know what that means. An ad and not what they are working really hard on. I'm confused by that. But the guy underneath them, Capacano. That's why it's called a controller demonstration, not an interaction demonstration. Are you, are you dumb as fuck? I think you are. That makes no sense. On top of the fact that this is uh, intentionally confusing, because at the end of the vehicle demonstration, they said one of the next videos we're getting is player interaction. And now that's switched to player controller for whatever reason. We're looking at a model with a fucking mesh over top of it. This is the best comment on this video, and I mean, I'm a little biased here. So this is the gameplay that took you 2.5 years to make? Big Fry is gonna rip this game to pieces. <laughs> I feel sorry for you guys, I really do, because probably you were hobby developers that just took water over your head. And then we get people commenting, don't talk if you don't know, man. In the official Discord, they said that this is not the gameplay, this is just a mechanical test video. Stop talking if you don't know nothing. Exactly. And Christ's sake, they've been building a 400 kilometer square map. Gonna take a while to make, huh? Is, is this the logic? So, there are two people, and they want to make a, a 400 kilometer square map. And it's going to take a while. Yeah, because it's almost impossible to do, optimize, and then and then really make it happen. I would, I would love it. I would love to see all of these people who are going to back it in the Discord. Guys, it's not a scam. Look, at they showed us gameplay, guys. Guys, it's not a scam. I want to see all of those people in two years messaging people like me, being like, Hey, y'all, Fry, you want to cover what's going on with Raw? Because a lot of us lost our money. That happens more often than you think. People will buy into bullshit, and then two to three or four years later, however long it takes, they're messaging me being like, yeah, you were right. You are right, Fry. I, uh, I, 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 I dropped 500, and uh, I didn't get a return on that at all because it was a scam. What we have is a whole fuckload of nothing. We have a whole bunch of assets, which, I mean, again... Assets placed on a map are cool if you can see a game behind it. If there's a game with actual programming and things, we're not seeing any of that. Now, I'm not saying that doesn't exist. What I'm saying is everything they have shown so far, it it's not showing what needs to be shown. Two years and you can't have a character go and sit down. You can't have a character go and press a button to open a door. You're building a 400 square kilometer map. How much you want to bet that there's nothing outside of this map? You can see that he's running around. You can see a skybox outside, but is this on the map? 
or is this just one section of an asset that's been placed in a level and and your character imported and, and running around and, and is that what it is we don't know because we can't see it and there's so many questionable things about this project we are seeing a lot of videos being put out and i, I say a lot but it's really only been a couple that are, are trying to bait people into the hype rp community please save your desperation keep it bottled up inside and let's just be sad together because if you waste a fuck ton of money on this game you are going to be burned this is all of course my opinion i'm not gonna tell you guys where to spend your money but if you open up a message two years from now saying hey big fry i've been watching you for years i want you to talk about raw because i got my money stolen i'm just gonna laugh in your face because this is blatantly um i would say blatantly vague in what they're showing you character controller demonstration they're talking specifically about the controller really that's how that's how we're doing it okay fair enough let me know what you guys think am i being too harsh am i am i am i being impatient should should we wait and cover more of the gameplay videos that we're probably going to be seeing during their indiegogo campaign I've been told, I don't know if this is confirmed, but the Indiegogo campaign is apparently starting on Monday. Um, again, I don't know if that's true or not. That's just community rumors. But um, this is this is crazy, man. My name is Big Fry. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you guys could, share, like this video, share it on Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. If you guys really fuck with me, it definitely helps me uh, fight back against the algorithm. We're growing every day, and I appreciate everything you guys do for me, man. Don't get caught up in the scams. Stay frosty. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>